What is up, my meme squad of memers? Nintendo announced last Wednesday the Nintendo Labo. Wow, Nintendo Labo, what a what a what a concept, cardboard. Now, I have heard a lot about Nintendo Labo. Um I've heard good things, bad things. Well, people are, the reactions are good and bad. Uh, mainly, the joke reactions are cardboard. Uh, yeah, obviously, that's going to be, the, the cardboard memes are pretty great, I'm going to be honest with you. However, all, some people have been uh, giving it bad reactions and receiving it poorly, uh, saying, Oh, Nintendo's charging $70 for cardboard? Really? Okay. Now, here's the thing. It, it does sound really expensive, and it is. $70 is a lot of money. I'm not going to argue with that. $70 is a giant sum of money you could spend on anything. A, a phone bill? It could be used on... It could be used on really anything. That could pay your cable bill. It could pay any... Like like I'm saying, $70 can is a lot of money, and I'm not going to argue with that. That's my main point. However, games Nintendo release are generally $60. Heck, the whole gaming industry usually releases games for $60. That That's the usual price. Sometimes more if you're getting a bigger edition of a game. Nintendo doesn't do that. Other games don't need to do. But, uh, gotta keep in mind with Nintendo Labo, you're gonna get the game software with it and the cardboard stuff. In other words, it's pretty much adding an extra $10 for the cardboard template for the variety pack. It's gonna be an additional $20 uh, for the game plus the cardboard for the robot pack, which makes a bit of sense, I guess, uh, that the robot would be more expensive because it seems a bit more complex and, uh, you know, of course Nintendo is going to milk the more complex one for a bit more money. And, however, I don't think this is a completely bad thing. I've seen people arguing against it saying, oh my god, Nintendo just wants money and really, the whole gaming industry wants money at this point. Let's compare it from all the other game company standpoints because they aren't any better themselves. Sony and Microsoft have this thing uh, th these things called loot boxes that you uh, you can buy. It's pretty much gambling in your in your game. And loot boxes, uh, if you're like, oh my god, Nintendo's milking this for money. Loot boxes, guy, yeah, wrong wrong thing. Loot boxes. Think about loot boxes. You know, it's one of those things that you can't really argue against if you don't like look at it from both sides. If if you're gonna argue with it. You have loot boxes here, and then you have Nintendo Labo on the other side. They're both cardboard boxes, except for loot boxes. Shut up. Anyways, I don't think it's that bad of a thing. And mainly, any game companies are selling really expensive things with additions to them. And uh, Nintendo Labo is just a physical addition, like uh, addition to the game. You know, it's one of those things, I don't think it should be getting that much backlash for being overpriced when a bunch of other gaming companies overpriced their things already, uh, in, including loot boxes and uh, adding like gold edition or ultra edition or whatever the heck edition you're on, because those things can go up to like a hundred bucks and what do you get extra with them, like extra like skins or like passes or whatever, it's not that big of a deal um, with the extra stuff you get. Anyways, guys, I'm not trying to, like, really defend Nintendo or anything here, even though I'm like, hey, I'm not, like, you know, I'm saying you gotta look at this from the big picture. A bunch of game companies do this, and it's not just Nintendo, so giving Nintendo crap for something that everybody does, that's not really right, I would say. Nintendo, um, they're, they're a la Nintendo Labo, you gotta keep in mind, it does come with the software, and then it's pretty much $10 for the additional uh, cardboard stuff, uh, which does come as you can punch it out and, you know, I mean, you could sure cut out your own templates and all that, but that would be more work than you would need. Uh, plus, I believe the stuff has, like, some stencil stuff on it that you can use or whatever uh, for it. Uh, so if you guys are going to go ahead and complain, let me know what you guys think of the pricing in the uh, down below. I feel I, I hit that on the head pretty right where it is, and I'm probably going to get a lot of argued comments against it uh, saying Nintendo is overpricing it. But, however, you do got to look at it from both sides. Uh, so, once again, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Um, leave a like on this video. Subscribe. I want to let you guys know before I end this video, yesterday I started a Patreon. Uh, so, if you're on my Discord server, you can go ahead and uh, pretty much, uh, it, it'll 
say you're a Patreon supporter and I'm thinking about adding more reward tiers, for example, at the end of videos I'll uh, go ahead and put a list of names of people who are Patreon supporters for like a higher tier or whatever. Uh, but for now there's like, uh, one tier uh, that everybody can get and, and it's in my Discord server. But uh, if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, a link will be in the description. Let me know. Uh, once again, what you guys think of the pricing on this, leave a like and subscribe. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Very much appreciate it. And as usual, bye.